Before we get into this video, we have a new project we want to tell you about. It's been years in the making, conceived while we were through hiking the Appalachian Trail. If you're watching this video, you probably enjoy real life adventure stories, reading them, following them, maybe even writing your own. The project is called Outsideways. Outsideways is an adventure journaling platform for outdoor enthusiasts to share their adventures with family, friends, and the world. So whether you are into hiking or backpacking, canoeing, skiing, snowboarding, cycling, pack rafting, whether you are out for the afternoon, the day or the weekend, or maybe you're out for a week or months long adventure, Outsideways is the place to share the stories and share your pictures of your adventures. Tomorrow is Mother's Day and we had not given a lot of thought to Mother's Day because we don't actually notice the holidays out here. We don't even barely know what day of the week it is. I'm not expecting anything for Mother's Day and Mother's Day even at home isn't like a hugely special deal. I mean, I get to kind of choose what we're doing. I, you know, I can sleep in if I want. Uh, Damien cooks, that kind of thing. Out here, Damien cooks anyways. Um, I won't be sleeping in and we'll have a full day of hiking. Um, it'll be a day pretty much like every other hiking day. But today, I felt was my Mother's Day gift. It was so unexpected and that's what made it a gift. And the morning started like a regular hiking morning and the terrain through this part of Tennessee was easy. Um, just kind of easy up and down, rolling kind of terrain not particularly spectacular through a lot of rhododendron and crossing little stream. Um, we got rain, um, we had to get our rain jackets on and we got wet at one point, but it's not cold, so that wasn't a problem. So it was just kind of a regular hiking day. And this afternoon, we came to a, a clearing in um, a field that was actually, and that was interesting in itself because we're used to hiking in the mountains. So we came to a field, there was an old barn there, which was kind of cool and I caught a whiff of barbecue smell. And that is like, and it's a Saturday afternoon. And, and my first thought was, oh, I wonder if there's trail magic. And, but well, we didn't want to put our, have our hopes up because it could have just been anybody having an, a barbecue in their yard or something. So we were coming to a road crossing. So we come down through the meadow and we get to the sign that says trail magic. And we were like, so thrilled by that point. It's Saturday afternoon. It's like we were almost at the end of our hiking day. We had time just to sit and hang out. The trail magic was just off the trail and um, at a house, at somebody's cabin. And we had such a great time. We sat and relaxed and that in itself is kind of rare. Um, our hiking days are full. We kind of relax at camp. Our, our town stops are very busy. So it was just, we just sat and relaxed and they fed us. And so we, we ate a lot of food and we, we chatted with our hiking friends. And so that alone filled my well. I was like, wow, this was, this was my Mother's Day gift. I, I didn't need to have, you know, I don't need to have a special day tomorrow. This trail magic was a gift enough. And then it just got better. So this was, this is late in the day. This is already at 5.30. And um, we are in um, Tennessee and there is a place called Laurel Falls, Tennessee. And if you live near Tennessee or if you have a chance to come to Laurel Falls, Tennessee, it's absolutely beautiful. The Appalachian Trail goes right by it and we left the Trail Magic Place 
and the day started to clear off, blue sky, clouds. We, um, we walked through these, these kind of crumbling cliff things and the rhododendrons are starting to bloom. I'm a flower person and I've been waiting for the rhododendrons to bloom. And there's these beautiful pink blossoms. The azaleas are blooming. And I'm just like, I'm like, wow, more gifts. And then we come down to the falls and the falls are spectacular. They're like the most beautiful uh, water feature we've seen in the 41 days we've been hiking. And after the falls, we walk along this beautiful gorge along the rock wall right next to the water. And we're walk we walk up on a cliff and the, the rhododendrons and the sound of the water and all this spring green, I just felt like this is my Mother's Day gift. I have a Mother's Day, everything I would possibly want as a gift for Mother's Day um, or any special day. But this was just a really special trail day. Every day on the trail offers unexpected, unexpected gifts. And that's the thing I find about the trail. You have no idea what the day is going to bring. Every day is new and you don't know what, what to expect and you have no idea the gifts that are coming your way. So we are um, on our way to Damascus. This is our third day um, and so we've got two more solid days of hiking after today before we arrive in Damascus. And um, I think I got what I would classify as officially my first injury of the trail. And oddly enough it never actually happened on the trail. It happened... Uh oh! Hang on a second! <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! A turtle! A turtle. Here, buddy. Hey. Oh. Hello. It's not going to look bad, so I'll get actually get a photo of this. This is cute. Oh. I had no idea there was turtles. That looks like some kind of tortoise. Oh. I had no idea you what guys were up, up here. here on this path. Headed to Maine. <laughs> <laughs> take you a while at this pace. Can I come in front of you? I'll take a picture with you guys behind. It's not. Don't worry. It's not going to so run. So cute. I want to Okay, yes, I'll take a picture. Might go in his shell. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta get past. That okay. is adorable. Yeah, look at him. He's oh. like... I have never seen a turtle in the wild before. No. Well, we've seen them in... I never expected turtles in the mountains. But... No. no. <laughs> this looks like more a kind of tortoise than like a water turtle, you know? Well, we've seen turtles in um, water. Yeah, but uh, this like looks like more like a tortoise turtle oh, than like a pretty. swimming turtle. He's got orange on him. You are so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> I know, we just saw a snake. There's a turtle right in the middle of the trail. You really want to go this direction, buddy? Maybe you could pick him up and turn him this way so I can get his face. Can I pick him up? No, let's not no, pick, him up. pick him up. Is he going to like roll down the hill or something? <laughs> He doesn't like the slope. I think he wants to. Yeah. Although yeah, he buddy. must have got here from the slope somehow. Oh, listen to him. Okay, back to my injury talk. After the turtle interlude. So, um, we were at uh, 
some people's place, our friends that we met online. Uh, they were hosting us for the night and, um, and helping us resupply. And so I was sitting in their house and working on doing some email. I was in my bare feet and uh, all of a sudden I felt this like excruciating sharp pain on the top of my left foot. And wouldn't you know it, I got stung by a yellow jacket in the house. And uh, so the first day it just hurt a lot. And the second day we went out hiking um, and by the end of the day it started swelling up. And that was the day when uh, we encountered the trail magic where they were doing a cookout and one of the guys there actually happened to have a medical background. He actually taught uh, medical first aid to various to students. I think he's a former firefighter and, and so he has a medical background. And so, um, so he, you know, uh, helped me out a little bit. He gave me a tensor bandage, helped me elevate my foot, gave me some advice on how to treat it. Um, and gave me some, uh, uh, what's it called? Benadryl. Benadryl. And um, so I'm hiking with a fairly swollen foot right now. So we're sitting at our cabin um, that we've been at for the last two nights. Well, actually one night and we'll be here tonight. Damien's resting his foot. And I'm having my dessert on the, the porch here. And I dropped my precious short bed through a crack, <laughs> through a crack in the deck. And then I used two sporks to try to get it and I dropped Celine's spork. So now I have to dig out. And I don't oh know what's goodness. under here because, because mm -hmm. there was like a bunch of lizards running around today. And oh my goodness, I'm like, I'm like a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like scary. some kind of animal, all for the shortbread. Well, well I'm the sp I got the spork. Oh, yay! Now get the shortbread. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got a feel for the shortbread. It's like, oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I have rescued the shortbread, yay. and I am eating it. <laughs>